Kelly Ripa is here. Good morning. Hi, hey, good morning. Hey. Morning, guys. Good, good morning. To see you. Everybody looks so good. Oh, you know, you're... I got to I got to listen to you guys over the break, yeah. which is like the only time I'm in a car. I wonder what because we don't. I, I'll, I'll tell you, we don't listen to ourselves you, other than you, when we're on you're the air. Very we hear good. ourselves the, on the It's headphones. such a good broadcast. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's so entertaining. We, my, the kids and I will pull over like if we are all in the car and we're going somewhere and we're like arriving soon, we'll pull over so we can finish listening to yes. whatever it is you're discussing. Well, you know what? I mean, you broadcast every single day on television. One of the beauties of this broadcast is there, and we love him, but there's no Gelman. So you, you, nobody's telling you you got to hurry up or slow down. Isn't it great? It's so, I mean, it's, look, like it's a luxury. Today, Nothing but time. Today? <laughs> today, Gelman was telling us to hurry up and we totally ignored him. We and look at what happened. So, I, I, well, and he's, I mean, he's not speaking like he usually speaks to us, but we were also a little rusty coming back from a few days off. It's as if we had never done the show before. I feel like that sometimes on Thursdays. I'm like, have we ever done this show before? You know. I mean, I feel like that every day. Kelly was saying that Lola has gone away to college. It's mm-hmm. a big deal. Yes, and so it's a her big little deal. one is the only one left now. When she went away, you said that uh, you know she's not that far from home, but right. you want her to feel like she's far from home. Well, her the whole thing is that you know you have to college is where you start establishing yourself as an independent person. Yeah. And and I think that, you know, like when you send your kid away to college, um, if your kid stays sort of local, you get all of the hassle of sending your kid away to college and none of the sympathy or empathy from your friends. Mm-hmm. Like your friends go, oh, at least she's nearby. And I go, yeah, but that's not good because if she feels homesick, say, I can't, I have to say to her, no, you can't come home. You're yeah, going you to have to work. In. You have to work it out. Yeah. Work it out. Work out whatever you're going through. Figure so you're going to treat out. geography like the geography is a long distance. Yes, I treat it all the same. I did the same thing with my son. It's like you're going to have to figure out how to be an adult. This is when you figure it out. Because <sighs> it's like the thing is you got into more than one school. And when we sat down and discussed which school you should go to, this was my main concern. My main concern was I don't know. If you should be this close to home, because I don't want you using home like it's your home. I want you to use this <laughs> like an you, experience. What do you think Lola's biggest challenge, life challenge will be being on her own? Ooh. Sharing a bathroom with five <laughs> roommates. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be the main challenge. And Scheduling space. And time. space. I remember my dorm room was so small. Right. Space. Well, you know, the thing is, I think New York City kids are used to having not a lot of space. Um, okay. So that she's she's already okay with. Mm-hmm. She's okay with not a lot of space, but the bathroom, that's going to be a And thing. she doesn't know her roommates, you were telling me. So these are yeah, all new people all in her life. they're all new people in her life. Oh, see, that's and exciting, though. Yeah, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't get to, they don't even fill out, like, a profile. So no. it's, like, truly, like, a surprise. Surprise! Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so they're, they're, Four strangers. I had a roommate at the University of Georgia whom I didn't know, who actually was from Long Island, and he came to the South to go to school. And it was so strange because we didn't know each other. Yet, you know how you have your little idiosyncrasies that you're used to doing by yeah. yourself. Right. And you have to expose that to someone else. Right. And then you wonder what they think about it. And not only I'm sharing a bathroom, but you're sharing a room. And- yeah. So their dorm building is co ed. So and so they have like her her room is all girls, but yeah. like their next door neighbors are boys. Yeah, oh, I know. I had the did, same thing. But did you just get yeah. lucky with coed? Because that wasn't always the case. No, so uh, it's like building. So you know, like the whole building's gonna be coed. But did I you actually, apply for that building? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I specifically applied for Zura at San Diego State because it was coed, and I was mm. so excited. Just being like, it's exciting. You're going to college, and you're gonna yeah. live among like boys your age. It's like really cool. But you're on a different uh, floor. So I get there. No, you no, you're all on the, the same, same floor. Floors? Yeah. So I get there, and I'm checking in, and they're like, oh, guess what? I'm your RA on for your floor. And I was like, oh, nice to meet you. She's like, we're on the only all girl floor. <laughs> What? <laughs> I was so That's, depressed. Yeah, but as a parent, your parents like oh, they were so relieved. Really, yeah. And they looking back, so I'm actually so happy because our floor always smelled so nice, and everyone else's floor smelled like pepperoni so pizza. Chill, and trash. The worst. <laughs> I tried to get my daughter to go to school in San Diego. You have no idea. Oh. I tried. To, I was so desperate to get any of my kids to go to school on the West Coast because <laughs> I just want to visit the West Coast. Like, yeah. I, want to, I want to have Thanksgiving on the West Coast. Right, right. right. We, we like, get it. We right. get it. Who wants to go to school in a climate that is so terrible? With four seasons. <laughs> 
Kelly Ripa is here, and we're looking for Victoria Galvin of Moreno Valley. It's a mortgage statement. Call us back, Victoria. 30 minutes or less. And we will pay your bills. That's incredible. It's, a, it's my favorite I mean, contest. You know, Gelman gets so excited if we give away a trip to um, Barbados. Right. You know? Right. You, and you're paying bills for a year? Yeah. That's incredible. The, we've done this a few times. <laughs> I actually couldn't believe we did it once, and then they keep letting us do it. Yeah. So. It's incredible. It's, it's so the changing. generosity of this show. Oh, Kelly. Serious. Say it more, please. Say it <laughs> no, more. I'm serious. It's true. It's like we used to get excited when they would give away tickets to a Sheila E concert. And that, and guess what? That was a, that was big, a big deal. deal. And you would try to be the ninth caller, yeah, yeah. you know, and yeah. and and tickets. But these are bills. These are real. And these are the, the stressful ones. So yes. we will take care of that. Call us back. Now, coming up in a second, more with Kelly Ripa. And if you have seen any of the wild pigs in Corona, please call. <laughs> 800-520-1027 at Kiss FM. Kelly Ripa is in the studio. We were talking about the, the hydro colonic. She's, oh, yeah. She's wanting one for the holidays as a gift. I, just don't <laughs> I think even, they make gift certificates. But here's my here's my thing. You said that they fill you up. With water. And then you know when you're full. So mm-hmm. just, just, just to be yep. clear, I, I find that with my circle of friends, we keep talking more and more about like, what do we need to do in life to live longer, right? Like longevity becomes a vocabulary word we're using more than ever. And one of the things, and this is controversial, some people do not think it's a good thing, right? is to go get a, a, a water colonic. Is there are there are there vodka colonics? Are there different? <laughs> no, I mean <laughs> there's only water. Only water. Okay. And they basically they they send water in and then they let it come out. And yes, you tap out. You say I can't take any more water. But you <laughs> you let it come out, and you said that there is a person there. A per- and I don't know why I'm assuming this person is a woman. Maybe you said she. She, she is a woman. You this said one she. Was, yes. Okay. So she doesn't get splashed or No, anything. no, no. It's all very, very well organized. Yeah. I don't understand. You keep saying organized. No, it's people. There's like a chamber. A, a chamber? chamber? Yeah, collects what is it. chamber? What do you guys do it? <laughs> like, Wait. No, there's a, there's a. He says the hose goes in, then they pull it out. Well, I'm assuming carefully. that you're then like a, like you, you become like a champagne bottle. Well, yes, it depends but, but if you drink water with gas or water without gas. It depends if you like sin gas or con gas. Con gas. Agua con gas, agua sin gas. Uh, so a speaking of con gas. gas, this is the kind of stuff you get every morning on live with yes. Kelly and Ryan. We talk about gas. <laughs> you go there. This is, if you want more of this. Then you found your show. You really should see it with visual aids. <laughs> yeah. The visual aids of us standing there and talking about it. I can't this. believe it's the 32nd season of the, of the series live, and it's the 19th season with you Co-hosting the show, so wow. dumb. That's Can amazing. you imagine? Yeah, <laughs> I only acknowledge the past three years because those, <laughs> those are my favorite years. We've had so Aww. much fun. I, I it is, uh, it, it's first of all, it's a dream to work with you, and it is true. It goes by very, very fast. But every fast morning, yeah. I'm so excited to get to see you. you Me know? too. I really miss you. I want you to know. I've told you this before. I, it's a, I'm not used to this feeling of like looking forward to going to work. It's a weird, <laughs> it's so weird How did you feel about Mondays like, in the past? I'm like, I, I used to really get the Sunday blues in a big way. Like every day of my life felt like the kid on Sunday that was going back to school. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And now I don't have that empathy for my kids anymore. I was like, oh, just go. You'll have fun. <laughs> You'll have fun. You'll enjoy it. Well, it is, it's so much fun. It is, when we've got Jennifer Lopez coming up and Ashton Kutcher coming up. I am very Orlando excited Bloom. about Jennifer Lopez. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to hear about her locking you out of her party. Well, it wasn't locked out. It just was. <laughs> I know. She, she invited me and then I, I somehow I got there and I wasn't on the list. And the security guy said, would you please stand under the ceiling fan? And I just stood there. <laughs> <laughs> and then she came later. We'll, we'll talk about it in one second. Khalid, now kiss. Live with Kelly and Ryan. Weekday mornings. Make sure you check out. It is season 32 launching this week. Season three for me, 19 for you. How can how can it be 32 years? Well, but I- But a show is on the air. I think, beca- I don't know. You, you're the, you've you been here longer than I. But I, <laughs> I too, watched the show before I started working on the show. I, I know, know you did me as well. Me too, yeah. It's weird. It is strange. Same stools. That apartment that's not real. My aunt thinks it's real, though. Shh, don't she gets <laughs> angry that we leave the dog outside. <laughs> Wait, speaking of dogs. Yeah. Have you heard about the wild pigs in Corona? <laughs> I have heard about the wild pigs of Corona. There are wild pigs. And I just want to, you know, it's a public service. They're saying um, this is uh, an alert. The city of Corona is warning residents to watch out for the wild pigs because they could become aggressive. <laughs> and so, Brad, you're in Corona. Uh, take cover. 
Hey, man, yeah, there's wild pigs running around here everywhere right now. I've probably seen about 20 of them in the past 10 minutes. Is that what? true? <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, it, it's a good thing I'm on keto because this is going to work out good for me. But. Oh, Brad. <laughs> Do not refer to your diet while we talk about oh, the pigs. Oh, wow. Brad, now, oh. w- why is there an abundance of running pigs right now in Corona? You know, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if they escaped from a farm originally and then just kind of ran off in the hills because we got a lot of hills and country area out in Corona. Lock your uh, doors. Yeah, I, you know, I'm telling you. Are you... I, I think... I think over time they just populated. Well, some have tusks. You should know, so be careful. Yeah, oh, and are yeah, they on yeah, like they're, the? They're are they on the streets? Like, do you have to stop your car for them? Not let them cross the street? Like, I don't understand how many there are. Oh, so I would say I, I'm, I'm probably about five minutes outside of downtown Corona. Um, it's still city streets, and there was just two that ran right across the street. I, I'm not sure what making them run from the hills, but <laughs> I think they might be more afraid of what's causing them to leave. I think they're afraid of the keto thing. dieters. That's why they're running. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I when I was in Corsica, I saw these uh, wild, wild. It's me over here. Like, wait, <laughs> over here, Ryan. I was like, Sisney's in Corsica. Oh, Sisney's yeah. throwing her voice again. Um, no, and they ha- they call them savage pigs, which I find so funny. They don't call them wild boars or they, they savage, savage pigs. pigs. Isn't that funny? So let's call them savage pigs yeah, of they're, Corona. Yeah. They're, the Corona savage pigs are running loose. Yeah, that's what they sound like. That's scary. I, I, it would frighten me. I, yeah. I I would frighten me. A squirrel I can handle. That I would frighten me. <laughs> a squirrel. Squirrel. Oh, squirrel. How do you make scary? jump from squirrel? Because it, they they jump in front of the car all the time. And there's These so many. These pigs are jumping in front of traffic right now. Yeah. There's so many squirrels right. all over the place. Well, they're like not. or they're like the deer of Long Island. Right. That one deer. Or no, the deer. The deer. <laughs> oh, the deer. Deers. Deers. There's, no, there's so there's many. The, the plural version no, of deer. No, there's so many that they are. They dangerous jump deer. into traffic. That's dangerous. So yeah. uh, let it be a public service. All right, Kelly, thank you for coming. Love you. Is this you. it? The this big brush it. off? Yeah, this is it. I got to oh. move on. <laughs> We're ending with the wild pit of I got to move pigs. on. You know, people are up I in know, arms about I know, the pigs. I know. All right, Brad, thanks for calling Kelly. Bye. Live with Kelly and Ryan weekday morning. See ya. See you soon. Love Check you, Kelly. Listeners. Love you guys. Bye. You're the best. Mwah, 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 mwah. Uh, let's talk about her now. This she's she coming great? up in the horoscopes later today. Yeah, Kelly is? Oh. <laughs> she's still here. Oh, she's still, she hasn't walked out yet. <laughs> oh, you want me to leave? No, I don't want you to leave. <laughs> but it's so fun to say nice things about you once you once you leave. You know? Oh, well, wait, let me put my hair. Oh, my, she can hear us now. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're you're our you're you're our leader in so many ways, Kelly no, Ripa. I'm not. I just want to I just want to play with Sissini's baby. Please, <laughs> anytime. But listen, she's only got Joaquin at the house, so she's ready. We're so oh my bored. Gosh. We're so bored with each other. All we do now is watch The Office. You know, maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come back. It's Kiss.